fellow Nigerians, it is no news that we have terribly bad leaders. But the question is, when last exactly did we have good leaders? I'm sure most of us are aware that that was a long time ago. Yes, there was a time when we had visionary, sensible, responsible leaders. But how long ago was that? Have we wondered why we keep having one set of bad leaders after another? I mean, why are we where we are today? How did we get here? Well, it's simply because the majority of us are inherently corrupt. That is why we have this set of corrupt, irresponsible, inept, virtually non-existent leaders. A group of people only get the kind of leaders they deserve. These leaders are simply a reflection of us. They are simply a reflection of us as a people. They are from amongst us. They are not from anywhere else. It then means that we have been producing the kind of leaders to reflect our society. That is the only way, that's the only reason why we can't seem to get good leaders. I am not saying there are no good people or incorrupt people around there. Maybe very few. But it's about the majority. Corruption has become our rule rather than exception. Let's be candid. Take a good look at our society today. From public officers to civil servants to academics to private to the private sector to businessmen and women to traders, market people, security agencies, everywhere, just about everywhere. The corruption has become a way of life for us. Most of us are not diligent in our little corners. We are caught in corners. And if we are truthful with ourselves, we will know, we will realize that we have, all of us have just been deceiving ourselves. When we are able to partake in the spoils, when we are able to share in the spoils, we call it connection. Only when we are unable to benefit from the rot in the land do we shout corruption. Who are we deceiving? These leaders, this recycled set of irresponsible leaders, how have they been getting to power and holding on to power? We have directly or indirectly been putting them there and ensuring that they remain there. We have all contributed our quota to what our nation has become.
to the rot in the land. What must we do if we want to stop this cycle that we seem to have been going in? Let us let each and every one of us look at ourselves in the mirror and be candid. Examine in what ways we have all contributed. Each and every one of us as individuals and as groups have contributed to, to what we have on ground today and amend our ways. When the majority of us start being upright, being diligent, being incorruptible in whatever little things we are doing in our little different little corners in our homes in the schools in our workplaces then the moral jurisdiction and the obligation to demand good governance and ensure its continuance will be readily present and this set of corrupt leaders will be readily dealt with naturally they will be dealt with they have been surviving and thriving on the platform of our corrupt mindset and tendencies they have been dwelling on it they have been keeping our float on it let us break that platform and they will sink the power belongs to the people but what are we doing with it i just hope we get it sooner rather than later